Hi, welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today I'm working on my 1984 Volkswagen Rabbit 1.6 liter turbo diesel and I want to adjust my injection pump timing because I think it's too early. Key symptoms I've been noticing and that I think might be timing related. First off, when I start it, it kind of sounds a little rough, like it's almost a knocking sound, if you will. And I think that's just because there's too much static timing advance at idle. And so I'm curious if that symptom will be changed after I move the timing to be more retarded. And the other thing is that it's very lurchy. Like if I'm in first and second gear and I'm like just starting to give it gas, the car and fuel pump together kind of start shaking my foot like this and then it makes it even worse because your foot starts to bounce. Basic fix so far just while driving for that is give it more gas and it doesn't do the whole lurchy phase, but I'm interested to see if timing has any effect on that too. My fuel pump setup is a little bit special in the sense that it is a more or less custom pump and we're running an 11 millimeter pump head on it as well as a high lift TDI rotor. So this is a mechanical TDI pump basically running into the normal 1.6 TD injectors. And I actually retested the injectors myself. They were supposed to be shimmed at 155 bar. And I think they're more like something weird and in between, like they're like 140 or 136 bar, when normally they're 133 or 155. Point being, you put all that together, you have a pump that's putting out higher, more intense pressure signals to injectors that are kind of under shimmed for what they should be. And it means my fuel delivery system as a whole is trying to fire that injector sooner than potentially other more friggin stock. My fueling setup will inject fuel sooner than a stock setup on this same engine. So I set timing last time to where I usually set it about, which I think was 0.1. I don't actually remember. Which is... Most recent timing was 0.0385 inches. Now, if you're not familiar on Bosch VE pumps, Timing isn't measured in degrees on these. On these Bosch diesel injection pumps, you actually measure timing using a dial indicator and a probe because you're checking how far the piston is from compressing the fuel. One millimeter of timing on this pump is approximately equal to about 14.5 degrees before top dead center. So that's one millimeter is a pretty aggressive setting. Uh, so my setting I just had it at, what's currently at with this setup is about if you convert 0.0385 inches to millimeters, you get 0.9779 millimeters, about 14 degrees or so. So with my hypothesis being that my fueling system is injecting earlier than it should be, then the timing spec that I was looking at previously isn't a good range to operate in anymore. So my hypothesis is I need to slow pump timing down a bit. So I think I want to go from about like 0.97 millimeters to more like 0.8. This is not a timing how-to video. This is a me experimenting with this fuel pump and giving the results video. If you want a fuel pump timing how-to, you should watch my video where I go through that in depth and I might even make it appear right here if I edit well. <laughs> Check. I just rechecked our current timing. Pretty darn sure I did it nicely. And we're at about 0 0.035 inches or 0 0.889 millimeters. I would like to go to 0 0.8 millimeters, I think. Or maybe I should even be more aggressive. So at 0 0.03, that's 0 0.762 millimeters. Kinda wanna give that a burn, honestly. I might just give that a try. We can convert that to degrees, 0.762 in millimeters times 14.5. It's about 11 degrees before top dead center. So right, you know, we're getting close to 10 degrees before top dead center, which isn't a bad place to time any motor as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock it back to there and see if that 
is a nice change or not. Now, I'm well outside of like the OEM factory increments, but I'm also well outside of the OEM factory setup. So at this point, I'm just trying to jump a decent amount of timing back so that I can see a difference. I don't want to move it a teeny bit and then not notice anything. So we're going to try a bigger jump. And if I have to retime it again to get it somewhere in the middle, that's fine. That right there looks like 0 0.030. Now when I check timing, while that may very well look like 0 0.030, I always like to tighten the pump a bit. Not crazy, just a bit so it don't move. And then I like to go ahead and recheck. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it back off the top dead center till my gauge goes back to zero. And I'm rolling the engine forward. I'm approaching top dead center. But we're still at right about 0 0.030. So I'm happy with this. This pump is where I want it to be. I'm gonna retighten everything. I'm gonna put the fuel lines back on. I'm gonna bleed the fuel lines. I'm gonna start it, see how it goes. A word of caution, I used to do this with the fuel lines on, and that's just a horrible idea. For one, it puts too much stress on your fuel lines. You're like forcing them to bend while you're messing with the pump. And for another, it screws with your pump setting, because as you're trying to move the pump around, the fuel lines are resisting it. So just take them off. It's definitely worth it. it makes it way easier. All right, I got my fuel lines on. When you're putting them on, be nice. These are your fuel lines. Uh, you need them, they don't need you. I actually broke a set of fuel lines while driving, mostly because I think I was being too aggressive on them while taking them on and off the pump. So this is a new set, which also, if your set's looking janky and thin and brittle, maybe just replace them before they leave you stranded. These are all cracked just a little bit. I'm gonna go in there and crank, either watch for fuel shooting out of here, or I'm gonna just get out of the car and look for a ring of fuel in each of these cups between the line and the nut. And when I see that, then I'm gonna know these are bled and I'm gonna tighten them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. If you're trying to bleed the lines, freaking mash the fuel pedal. If you wanna get it done today, brother, you need to give it some growth. Without too much further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this beast up. We should start now that we've bled our lines. Blood bloods. <laughs> definitely sounds different. I mean, it, so my first symptom I was trying to combat was a almost knocking quality at idle, and it's now, I would say, much smoother. It also just definitely sounds different, which, I mean, kind of duh, when you change your injection timing, it changes plenty of things. But what's funny is I spend a lot of time screwing around with different setups, and I rarely have the car together long enough to really tune things much, especially in this most recent configuration. So today is a cool little bit to be able to do this, and now I'm excited to take it for a drive and see what it feels like. At any rate, it's nice to actually start playing with timing a bit, because I feel like that's a bit of tuning I haven't been working at, and it can unlock a ton of potential in this car if I find where it's happiest with injection timing. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and take a test drive.
okay, kind of needless to say, that was fucking sick. I don't know if I expected to get that much out of just changing my timing, but holy crap, the car is like twice as responsive, accelerates way harder, boosts harder, makes more boost. Freaking sweet. So I'm stoked on the on the new tune for sure. I'm excited to drive it more. This thing is an absolute party now. So at any rate, this was uh, updating the timing on my fuel pump. Sometimes, you know, you got to go out of the timing range if you got weird stuff going on. At 0.8 or 0.76, I'm well below the stock timing range, but it eats, absolutely eats. So super stoked. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night out there.